Hello and welcome to the vlog. Um, I guess I'm vlogging today, it's quarter two. I'm here with my mom, we are eating McDonald's. And like I mentioned the other day, there's construction going on on this road. And so when we leave town, we just stop and we get food because we know we're gonna be waiting a while. But we were coming along and it was going and I was like, no, no, they're gonna stop us. And fortunately they did stop us so we can sit here and eat our food in peace. <laughs> we, we have problems. But it was really good. This is our, this is our strategy lately <laughs> to make life easier because it's like we get stuck here for so long like people just give up and turn around so <sighs> that's where we're at i bought myself a switch today so i guess we'll unbox that when i get home okay bye i'm looking pretty tired right now and i feel a bit like a zombie i don't know i didn't sleep really well and my zombie stains are showing it is fine though i should probably stop hitting my desk because it's making the camera move and then i'm like oh my god it's gonna fall anyways hilariously like just after i stopped filming in the car like three cars behind us were like no we're out and turned around and left it's see what i mean and we end up finishing our entire meals both of us like normally because i'm not driving i can like eat the majority of my meal but like i finished my meal and my mom finished her meal like that's how long we were in that line <laughs> but anyways like this is what we're really here for right da -na -na -na! it's a fun like special edition double red oh double red like my battery flashing red right now okay i'll be right back okay we are back we are battery charged also i'm being a responsible adult and i just put in a load of laundry so that is exciting i did laundry the other day and i was just really lazy i didn't want to do it all because it was going to be two loads and then it was almost two loads again because i waited so long <laughs> Anyways, Nintendo Switch, this one's cool because it comes with a carrying case and also a $25 gift card, credit, whatever, for the Nintendo Silver. So that's exciting. How do we open this? I'm not really like, okay, yeah, like I'll do an unboxing, but I mean, I'm sure there's like 8 million unboxings on YouTube already, so we'll just... <laughs> I don't even know. This is super cute. And I have like my little switch light. I remember the first time when I was in Blind Channel, I told someone I pre-ordered this. They're like, I thought you pre-ordered a light switch. Go switch light, light switch. So this is my current one. I just found out that they're releasing really like a coral pink and I'm really sad because I love pink, but I love yellow because my first Pokemon game was Pikachu yellow. So size comparison, they're like pretty similar. The screen's obviously bigger on the switch than it is on the light switch <laughs> but you know not so bad yes i will continue to use my switch light because honestly i just i like the convenience of i can just throw that somewhere and i don't need to worry about anything coming off or whatnot also the neat thing about that is so like these sides match they're the same but because the joy cons are detachable mine has a d-pad on my light switch <laughs> I'm just gonna call it light switch from now on and this one has an that can why can I not the arrows like the d-pad on the well not like a d-pad that's a d-pad the d-pad without the pad in the middle <laughs> who am I anyway I'm really excited about this because I have wanted to get a switch since they first came out and i was just like mm, are their games worth it and i had just bought breath of the wild for my wii u knowing that the switch was coming out and so i decided not to at the time and i've been constantly like, honestly in the summer when i bought this i actually went online to purchase a switch and then i saw that this was coming out so i was like you know what that suits better what i need right now but then obviously i want games now that need the detachable joy cons so we just got both so this is the case that has bowser on one side and mario on the other and then it's just super convenient oh neat it looks like it can hold up the switch or something i don't know we'll figure that out but i can get some games in there which is nice although in all honesty i have one physical game and that is um link's awakening because everything else i've just bought digitally because why not next we have one attachment for the joy con i have my 25 dollars credit to buy games which i'm going to be using very shortly here to buy switch boxing fitness boxing important things there here's the other joy con attachment <laughs> and then i have the controller bit pew, 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 pew. <laughs> da, 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 da. i thought about actually getting the animal crossing one because it was super cute and i actually almost i tried to pre-order it when it first went on pre-order 
but the site wouldn't load and by the time the site loaded I still had it in my cart but then I could not complete the purchase so I sad about that but it's fine and honestly I don't even play Animal Crossing I just wanted to get it because it was really cute so here is the docking station so that's exciting I think I'm gonna put it right up here you can't really see but I'm gonna put it right up there because then my joy cons will be easily accessible and then the last things that we have in here are just cables so that's that's it we empty <laughs> Anyways, I'm really excited to give this a go and set this up and download that boxing game. I am so sore from the boxing game yesterday. <laughs> I love that thing. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move my Wii U downstairs um, because it has Netflix on it. That's the one thing like yesterday I was like, yeah, it's great because the Wii U has Netflix, which is why I have it up here. But I can easily hook up my computer to the HDMI cable and then just you know watch it that way that's unless i mean as far as i know the switch doesn't have netflix capabilities but hey we'll double check anyways but it makes more sense to have the wii u downstairs so i'll have the wii u downstairs so that netflix is really readily available in the living room and then i'll set up the wii up here so i can still play like my wii cardio fit boxing game that i showed did i show it yesterday i don't know but i really like it it's lots of fun so that's the plan and then i'll just have to move the wii fit up at stairs and downstairs depending on who wants to use it where but yeah that's where we're at and like yeah i'm getting boxing for this and this is the main reason that i currently bought this besides the other games i want to play on this like breath of the wild because yes i did in fact buy it for switch just it's fine and i just like that the other one has the wii fit I, I love aerobics i love the steppy up thing anyways i have been rambling for a while i think so i'm gonna go for now Oh, maybe I'll have a nap because I'm really tired, but I'm probably going to set this up first and at least download a thing. Ooh, it's a very satisfying click. Yeah. Alrighty, so I've been chilling for a while, but I have the switch set up here. And then I have, whoop, wrong way. <laughs> I have my Wii and my PlayStation to set up, except I can't find my power cable for my PlayStation, so we'll see. And I set up my Wii U downstairs and it was hilarious to watch my mom and her boyfriend try to use it. My mom's got a lot more rhythm than he does. They were doing the step aerobics. It was funny. But I've just been chilling. I'm downloading some games. I bought fitness boxing. I downloaded. I did play the demo. I'm like, yeah, I'm down for this. And I'm downloading a demo of Just Dance because I figured like that would be cool too. And then I'm also downloading uh, Breath of the Wild because why not play it on a big TV instead of do baby one? So that's what I'm working on. My mom's cooking dinner and <laughs> I guess there was something stuck on the element. And so the, the um, smoke detector has been going off, which is great because it's kind of smoky. But my bigger problem is there is something in my room that has a scent that I do not jive with <laughs> and I cannot figure out what it is. So I'm just, I've been like just... <laughs> trying to find it and I thought maybe it was some of my new Lush stuff because like the Jungle Bar, even though I've used it before, maybe is too fragrant in here. So I took all that stuff out of my room, I put it in the bathroom, but I still smell it. I don't know what it is. And I'm going a little bit crazy trying to find it. Plus, like I said, I have a headache from it. And now with the little bit of smoke, I have a headache from this. So we're just, we're not doing well, but it's okay. I did my laundry, like I mentioned. So I need to fold that at some point. And I've been on my iPad watching The Circle, which is like, just uh, like, I just, I don't understand this show. I just it's weird it's very weird my favorite part was there were two catfishes having dinner together and they had no idea which I thought was hilarious anyways that's where we're at figured I would update because it's like 6 30 now and I have just honestly I've been working on that and then I've just been kind of chilling because I the headache so that's where we're at I kind of want to be a little bit productive I kind of want to be a little bit more productive as the day goes on but we will see I do have to email one of my bosses from Blind Channel because she did email me just asking about my thoughts on the schedule for the summer because I think they wanted to try to give people time off so they don't get burnt out but honestly I'm out there for almost the least amount of time out of everybody and so I'm like I'm good and I've been offered time off my first year the chef was like I'm gonna get you some time off a day in town I was like no because it's so stressful to go to town and then last year my boss was like oh I should probably give you a day off before the extra storekeeper goes home and I was like no it's fine so my response will be no I'm good I'm gucky <laughs> I'm such a nerd anyways that's where we're at just want to update and I guess I'll see you after dinner when hopefully I'm more productive also 
my arms still hurt from yesterday and I'm gonna work out later so it should be fun. It's like quarter to ten now and who decided that like 9 20 was a great time to have a workout which was probably a little bit before then. I'm dying. I finally <sighs> decided to get up after dinner my tummy hurt. I was like super bloated and so I didn't want to work out but I finally did get up and I worked out and I am glistening and now as you can see but it was good like I bought the switch mostly for the ability to do workout games like this because I was thinking about it too it was like gym membership versus this <laughs> I won't go to the gym I know that this is in my room so yeah it was good it was a great workout I am dying now I ended up working out more than I intended because I like didn't understand how to like set it for half an hour so I ended up doing like a bunch of different exercises but it's fine anyways I need to go deglisten because this is gross oh that was nice and um chug a gallon of water but that's where we're at I folded my laundry too so that's exciting and then um uh what else have I done I emailed my boss back because she emailed me vaguely doing things today hasn't really been productive <laughs> It's been like the ultimate not productive, but I'm okay with that. Anyways, I'm gonna go and I'll check in with you later. Aloha, we have returned. It is the next day. I'm just like, I hate, I hate where this thing is in my room because it's exactly where I sit at my desk. And so I'm constantly hitting it with my chair. And one time I'm sure I'm gonna just destroy it. Anyways, I just like, I don't know how I feel about vlogging right now. I don't know if I want to make it a daily thing again or whatnot. So we're just we're just doing it when we feel like it and it feels right. So that's where we are at. My body really hurt today from my pew 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 boxing yesterday. I could not remember what it was called. And um so naturally I did another session today. So it's cool. That's where we're at. It's been a chill day. I woke up early and I went back to sleep and I think I slept until like 11 because I needed it and then went down to the store to get some stuff for dinner and which is probably going to be happening soon. It's like 26 so I should eat food but um yeah that was like the extent of my day. Oh I have a necklace that has the chain on it has been broken forever and I finally brought it to the jewelers to get the chain fixed so that's exciting and um yeah I think that's about it that's all that I've done today actually you know what I've been sitting down and I can see like a fruit fly in my room and I don't like that it needs to die can we get it it was not very fast it is dead <laughs> anyway um, what was I saying? Oh, I've been sitting at my computer. I've actually been working and getting some stuff done, which has been very exciting because I, like, barely have done anything. I wrote a pretty extensive list today, so we'll see how much I get done. I just got the vlog from the third up. Today is the fifth, so there's that. And, um, oh my goodness, my arms. <laughs> I'm going to get ripped at in this boxing game i'm sure i tried um a demo for just dance 2020 as well it's it hard <laughs> but we'll see i might get that because it was kind of fun and i used to dance all the time i used to do hip-hop pew, pew, pew. i don't know why i'm pewing everything anyways we'll see currently taking a break because i have been like I feel like I've been going non-stop all since I woke up. I'd say all day, except honestly, I slept in super late. I have a few more key things that I do want to get done today. Um, I watched the last episode of The Circle, which is that weird social media reality show that I was watching. It's a weird game. <laughs> I watched the episode of Survivor that came out yesterday. See, these are my priorities. And then the Love is Blind reunion is out. And after binging that on Saturday, I need to watch the end of it to find out where everybody is. And then somebody asked me for a reference last minute last night. They need it by the end of tonight. It's, I read this thing the other day. It's like your lack of time management does not constitute an emergency on my part. And that's kind of how I feel, but uh, I'll do it, I suppose. And I just have like several videos I need to edit that I've just been not doing. And they're really starting to take up a lot of space on my computer. So I want to kind of edit them and get that raw footage off. So that's kind of what I'm up to today. Let's see. Oh, what else? I need to like 
probably yesterday I should have started editing my book again because I want to get it done this month and um, I need 27 days to get it done about 5,000 words a day and it's the fifth so I only have 26 days that is fine and then I wouldn't mind reading because it's been a while and I have a friend who wants me to edit a book or a short story for her that I said I would get to this week and I have not got to it yet but I know she's understanding but I still want to get to it soon so that is where we're at. Lots of stuff to do. Taking time off is great, but also like when you come back from taking that time off, there's so much stuff to do. Anyways, I'm gonna go now and continue chilling for a bit and then probably make some dinner or something. Alrighty, so it is the end of another night. I'm nice and cozy in my PJs and my cardigan that I love so much. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but back when I used to write like hardcore all the time, I'm not as good as, <laughs> not as, I want to say I'm not as good as I used to be. I just used to, like, I did a lot of uh, National Novel Writing Month, so I'd just be like, I need to finish this, and I'd finish it in, like, 10 days, like, 50,000 words in 10 days, which is stupid. But anyways, um, back then, I used to always have a cardigan on the back of my chair, and so this brings back the feels, because I always have this draped on the back of my chair, and then if I get too cold, I can put it on. If I get too hot, I can take it off, because it's much more convenient to take a cardigan on and off than it is to take a sweater on and off. It's just too much effort. Anyway, it is just after 10. I've had a moderately productive day. I slacked a lot, that's for sure, but I did get a couple things done. I edited a vlog, and... Uh, somebody reached out to me last night for a reference letter, <laughs> which was like really funny because I haven't talked to them in like two years. And then even weirder was today while I was working on it, somebody else reached out to me for a reference letter from like that same time period in my life. So that was kind of weird. Like, why is it that everybody wants reference letters right now? I mean, obviously they're all signing up for courses, I guess, right now because they're all like school ones, but... Yeah, it's pretty weird. So I did one. I'll do another one. I was going to edit my 3030 video from last month, but I started importing footage and I was like, this is a lot of work and I need to be fully committed and I was not. So <sighs> didn't did a little bit, not a lot. I have that short story to edit for a friend still. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to save a PDF version and email it to myself so that I can have it on my phone and then I can at least read through it because I think the problem is, is I just need to read it and then go back through and look at the edits and the things that don't make sense with like at least some familiarity. Whereas if I just go through right now the first time, it, you know, it might not make sense. So oh, that's the plan. <laughs> um, I want to get that done tomorrow, hopefully, because like I mentioned earlier, she says she doesn't really have a deadline, but I think she it's for a zine that she's producing or publishing, and I think she wants it for the end of this month, so I need to get on that. Um, <laughs> and I just need to basically figure out how to be productive without burning out. I think that's where I'm at right now, so it's okay to take those breaks and have fun and all that stuff, but I also need to be able to focus and do things like I want to get my book edited again this month. I would love to get it edited. Oh, I stuttered. I'd love to get it edited by the end of this month and just be done with it and then move on to the next project because the next project is a completely different story. I need to plan out all the books because it's a trilogy, I think. I need to plan everything out because one thing that I've always said is I will never write a sequel to a book if I didn't already know it was a sequel if that makes sense. Like, I just feel like I've read so many book series that it started out all right, and then I guess they did well, so then they wrote another sequel, and another one, and another one, and it just feels so, like, meandering and pathless. And so, if I plan out three books, that's what I want to write. I'm not gonna be like, oh, wow, this got really popular, I'm gonna write six books. That's not me. I don't want to do that. So, that's why, like, the series that I have that I'm currently working on, I planned out all five books. I thought it was three. My bad. I didn't plan out book one very well. <laughs> and um, so for this next series that I'm working on, which I think is a trilogy, I'm going to plan out all the books. I need to plan out all the characters in all the books. I'm sure, I can add more characters later if I come across them, but I want to get the majority of them done. I want to get planning guides made and all that stuff so then I can just sit down and start writing because it would be super awesome to get another book written. <laughs> daunting. Anyways, 
<laughs> that's just where we're at. I just need to figure out how to get back on that productive train. That's my long-winded way of saying that. So we'll work on that for the next couple days. I work tomorrow, but then I'm off for, I think, three again. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of downtime, but also it's going to start picking up at the theater. And it's actually going to be really interesting because we're putting in like health protocols you know with the coronavirus going around and everything and we are a very public place we're lucky that we don't have any cases in our city so far that we know of knock on wood so that's good but it's nice to have those protocols in place for the possibility so anyways be interesting to see how it goes as it gets busier fortunately my position doesn't deal with the public a lot but like everybody else, my position is contingent on having shows that go through. So anyways, <laughs> on that like really weird note, I don't know what I'm, uh, I'm saying is I work tomorrow, but then I have a couple days off and I want to use those days to be productive. The end. I'm going to go now. I will see you in the next vlog. <laughs> Good night.